On this episode of KSP TV, we're going to look at how two branches work together to turn a standard Dodge Charger into a Kentucky State Police Cruiser. When the Kentucky State Police takes delivery of a new cruiser, it is brought to us by several drivers. And then Martin, our garage supervisor, will come out and inspect the vehicle to make sure it arrives without any defects, any scratches, anything of that nature. The difference between this car and one that you would buy off the lot as a private citizen, for one thing, is that it has the Hemi V8. And while that is an option on the civilian model, it's pretty much standard for the police package. This is also an all-wheel drive car as opposed to rear-wheel drive cars and it has an upgraded electrical system. The only thing that comes on the car from the dealer externally is the spotlight. Like the civilian version of the car, there is a charger emblem from the factory. It's glued, a piece of plastic glued onto the rear trunk. So that's removed so that we have room for our decals. The decals are a crucial aspect to being able to make the car into a cruiser. After ensuring the car is clean, the civilian staff make the first steps at giving the car its KSP look. Well, it's a professional, high quality decal that's actually designed and cut for us here in Kentucky at a local vendor, and then they will ship those to us. It's made to obviously adhere to automotive paint and endure various types of weather that the trooper's required to work in, as well as having a reflective quality. So although it may not look reflective during daylight hours, if you were to shine a light on it at nighttime, even the blue color of it has a reflective quality to make the trooper's vehicle more visible. It's a very traditional design that dates back to at least the 60s. The original state trooper cars from the late 40s and early 50s actually had gold decals, but in the 60s we transitioned to the blue that most folks are used to seeing these days. Nothing has changed as far as the font that is used. The stripe angle, for instance, is the same as always. The decal, other than going from gold and black to gold, white, and blue, it's remained the same since the 60s. Our traditions are very important to us. They define who we are, and therefore we want the car to be a symbol of the Kentucky State Police and a symbol that has endured through time so that whether you are a senior citizen or a young child, you will know that that's a state trooper when you see his car approaching you. Once the decals are applied, the car is surrendered, so to speak, to the communications branch with whom we share a building, although they are a separate division. The communications branch will then install the cage, the rifle rack, the mounts for the computer, the radar, the state police radio. Essentially anything on the interior of the car is installed by the communications branch. My name is Brandon Marshall and I'm with the Kentucky State Police Communications Branch. All the electronics for the Kentucky State Police cruisers that are in the center console, the heart of the center console is actually located in the trunk and that's where all the controls are really located. Also included in that package is a radar uh, and camera system as well. The docking station is what interfaces the laptop computer that's located in the car. Uh, everything that they would be able to do at post in their office they can do mobile and remote via that mobile data terminal. While the interior is what the trooper sees, it is often the exterior that is seen by the public. When I started for the state police in 1997, we used rotator halogen lights. Uh, it was pretty simple. It was actually electronic motors that just turned, causing the light to change. These newer lights that we're using now is LED technology or light emitting diode technology. They're incredibly efficient. Uh, they draw a lot less current. Um, they can change the flash pattern. They can change brightness, um, tempo. Uh, you can control different lights flashing at different times, all of which can be used to a trooper's advantage. These newer vehicles are smaller. Uh, they're lighter, uh, which makes them more fuel efficient, but also makes it challenging to get all the public safety equipment that uh, a trooper or an officer needs to do their daily job. When we're finished installing a vehicle here in the bay, they'll turn the keys back over to Lieutenant Preston and the supply branch where that they can issue the vehicle. 